Welcome to Grading 103, brought to you by PCGS. In this segment, we'll take a look at counterfeit detection. Specifically, we'll have a look at detecting counterfeit copper coins. First off, let's talk about a few of the techniques of counterfeit detection. First off, counterfeit detection is an enormously complex and detailed area. There are two major types of counterfeits out there. One is a struck or cast counterfeit, where the entire coin is basically uh, fake. The second type is an altered coin, where a um, person will take a genuine coin and makes changes to it, usually either alters the date, uh, adds or alters a mint mark, or uh, some diagnostic of some sort. In other words, altered coins start as a real coin and become something that they never were, whereas a struck or cast counterfeit is entirely fake. For most struck counterfeits, there are a number of different dyes out there, and many types of alterations have been done to dates and mint marks, so counterfeit detection is by no means simple or straightforward. Of course, the purpose of this is not to enable you to distinguish every counterfeit coin you might encounter, but basically just to familiarize you with the techniques used by the experts at PCGS to determine authenticity. So we'll start by taking a look at a flying eagle scent. 1856, as you know, is a very, very rare date. And this is a genuine example. And uh, we can tell a genuine example in some ways by taking a look at the cusp on the five, sort of that ball at the end. Uh, if you draw an imaginary line uh, sort of vertically through the five, through the upright, you'll see that it cuts through the uh, cusp at the bottom of the five. Also, the interior of the O in of from United States of America is somewhat rectangular rather than being oval. You can see on the photo here that it's uh, a little bit uh, rectangular in shape. Here's a counterfeit. This is an altered date. Now, at first glance, you take a look at the date. It looks fine. It doesn't look uh, like anything is uh, really wrong with it. Until you look closely, you see the cusp is unbroken by that line going through the upright of the five. So that is one uh, telltale sign that this uh, coin was altered, you know, probably from an 1858, possibly an 1857. Here's a 1909S Indian cent. This was uh, the last year the Indian cent was struck. In fact, they struck Lincoln cents the same year. And uh, Indian cents were made in San Francisco only the last two years, 1908 and 09. And uh, we take a close look at the mint mark on these, of course. Uh, you see in this uh, blow-up photo, the serifs of the mint mark are totally parallel. In other words, they're, you know, flat on the ends, and you draw these uh, lines through them, and the lines are parallel. Here is a struck counterfeit. This is a uh, coin that was made from counterfeit dies. And if you take a close look at that mint mark, you'll see that it's a little sloppily done, and those serifs just don't line up right. They're sort of rounded at the end. There's no real uh, straight edge on that serif. Uh, you can also see some uh, little roughness in the fields, uh, little depressions, little rim spikes, all sorts of stuff. You see this very often on uh, struck counterfeit coins. Here's a famous coin, the uh, 1909 SVDB. Just about every collector has heard of those. And uh, the genuine example uh, has some diagnostics. Uh, there are four mint mark positions on a 1909 SVDB, so that unto itself isn't definitive. But once again, you want to look for those nice, uh, sharp, uh, parallel serifs on uh, the mint mark. Also, if you take a look at the VDB on the back under extreme magnification, you'll see that uh, center line in the B is somewhat diagonal. In other words, it's not really parallel to the uh, top and bottom curve of the B, but it sort of is an angle that's cut through. So these are a couple things to look for. Now let's look at a struck counterfeit here. First off, you can sort of see the surfaces are a little bit uh, pebbly and rough looking, but let's take a closer look. That mint mark is in the wrong position, and it's tilted a little bit to the left. And that center of the B uh, just does not have that diagonal look that the uh, genuine uh, VDB has. Here's another uh, famously rare Lincoln scent, a 14D. This one here is genuine and uh, we want to take a close look uh, at the date and mint mark of this. 
The serifs of the mint mark once again are parallel and extend out to the left. In other words, you see them extending beyond the upright of the D, and they're very even and parallel. Here's an altered date, 1914D, and there's a couple telltale signs on this one that make it pretty easy to detect. First of all, there's too much space between the 9 and the uh, second 1 in the date. You sort of see 1, 9, and then 1, 4. And that's uh, kind of a good indication that it was altered from a, uh, you know, possibly in 1944. Uh, could have also been even a 34 or 24. One other telltale sign, if you look at the base of Lincoln's um, bust, you'll see the tiny letters VDB. They were added back onto the Lincoln set in 1918. So a genuine 1914D will show no VDB anywhere on the coin, whereas one that's altered from a uh, later date uh, is very likely to show that tiny VDB. So this was sort of a dead giveaway on this one. Here's a struck counterfeit. Now, this one is not an altered date. This is a struck counterfeit, and you can see on this, uh, the surfaces are just very, very uh, lightly porous overall. Uh, the mint mark is way too big. Uh, it has no uh, serifs. You see extending to the uh, left of the upright of the D is totally smooth. And uh, the date just, the whole thing looks a little fuzzy. You can see the date is not real crisp on this. We'll take a look at one more 1914D. These are frequently counterfeited. Here's one you can see how rough the fields and the devices are. If you look at the letters and the word one, you see they're very, very, very rough and sort of sandblasted looking. Once again, this is a characteristic of a um, fake die that was copied. Here's a rare coin. This is a 1922 no D Lincoln cent. Of course, it's a no D because it was struck in Denver but the mint mark had been uh, polished off the die. Philadelphia struck no sense in 1922. But this is a genuine coin. You see that the entire obverse is somewhat soft looking, especially the words in God we are very soft. Liberty is soft. Uh, that second digit of the date is very, very strong. You see that second two is uh, much sharper. And that is a diagnostic of a genuine 1922 no D or 1922 plain Lincoln cent. And check that first uh, T in trust. It's also sharper than the other letters. That's a nice strong T on that. Now here's a struck counterfeit. And once again, you can see the telltale signs. Uh, you see that the surfaces themselves are very rough. Uh, the devices are rough. Again, you have that sort of sandblasted look to the surface. You see a stronger first two than second two. And you see a raised lint mark on Lincoln's cheek and jaw. That uh, was just a defect in the die that, that was not made under the best of circumstances and that lint mark uh, was in the die and was struck on all the coins. Here's another famous Lincoln cent. This is the 1955 double die. Uh, of course, if you know anything about these, you know this coin was not struck twice, but these uh, letters uh, and uh, numerals were actually in the die. So this is a genuine coin. And uh, you can see the um, crisscross die lines from the T and cent. You see a, a little bit of these uh, lines right up in here. Here's a struck counterfeit. Once again, now the surfaces on this one are a little smoother than the others. But uh, this is one of eight known counterfeit die pairs. This particular one, we look for tooling marks on the shoulder of this coin. And also there's a spike coming from the first five in the date. So you can see that counterfeit detection is, uh, takes quite a bit of uh, magnification and quite a bit of patience and quite a good memory or at least access to a lot of good uh, photographs. And the last coin we'll look at uh, here in the Lincoln Sense is a 1972 double die. This is not quite as famous or as dramatic as the 1955, but you can again see pretty plain doubling on the word liberty and God we trust and the date on this coin. And uh, the real ones uh, find we have a rim spike right here above the D in United coming off the rim. That's a characteristic of all the genuine examples. Here's a struck counterfeit. Once again, the whole coin looks very soft. You see the figure of Lincoln, a little bit blurry looking, not at all well defined. And uh, you have these rough fields. And once again, you have another lint mark. If you see that right at his uh, collar and on his neck, 
you've got another uh, tiny, tiny lint mark that uh, shows up. So once again, to reiterate, our purpose once again was not to show you every possible counterfeit dye or diagnostic that would take us a number of years to do that. But hopefully what you've gained is a little insight into uh, what some of the appearance of some of these uh, struck fakes look like, some of the telltale signs of fake mint marks, both in shape and position, and a little bit of the appearance of altered dates. Uh, if you want to become an expert counterfeit detector, you're in for a long haul. It's a life's work and an ongoing process. New counterfeits are constantly being created. So it's a very uh, interesting and rewarding uh, endeavor to undertake but it's a very, very complex and uh, difficult field. Thank you.